All right, let's talk about Peter Lynch, one of the most successful investors of all time. During his tenure at Fidelity in the 80s, when he managed the Magellan Fund, he had an average return of 29%. This is absolutely insane. It's rivaling the return of even Congress people. So terrific job from Peter Lynch. He's an inspiration to many people, including me. And you can find more about his investment strategy outlined in his book, One Up on Wall Street. But to me, the most important part of the book is how he talks about general business understanding and how you understand consumer behavior and use this when guiding you in investment decision. A concrete example of this in Peter Lynch's book, and I will add one on my own as well after, was for example Lululemon, how we talked about that retail chain selling yoga pants and how that the his wife enjoyed it and other people really liked it. And he also used the example of a motel chain where he would even go out and test to sleep in their facilities and try the service and was really happy about it. It was niched, it had a great valuation, etc. So one of the things that he did was that he tried out the products and this is actually part of the research that the research departments of you know, big Wall Street banks do. They will go and they will try out experiences and products to see in some cases and in most cases in small companies this will just slip under the radar you can't have an analyst covering everything and in many small cap stocks there are no analysts at all and once they start getting coverage from wall street analysts peter lynch talks about this as one of the engines that takes the rocket ship to the moon basically when institutions buy in and they prop up prices and then we also have the price to earnings uh, you know with earnings growing and uh, this also pumping up the stock price so there's a lot to learn from peter lynch and his investment philosophy and one of the applications that i used on the real world was when a certain company operating an exchange changed their business model to something called first price in this case and this was really appreciated by the users of that site so this little clue that i got was enough for me to go in and do more research on a company called the rubicon project and then see that the valuation was good and then i bought a lot of stocks and this gave me a great great boost to the value of my investment account many years ago and in another case, more recent, I've been able to do the same thing for a company called Hueng LNG, where I was able to understand the operation, understand the great business need for liquid neutral gas. And then basically they got bought up here recently, giving out a huge return as well. But going into Peter Lynch's philosophy, we have a great opportunity to collaborate in this case as just your average retail investors. We have one up on Wall Street. We have the ability to test products, services, and then if these services and products come from a small cap company, a really small company that's not covered by Wall Street analysts, then there's a great opportunity to get in early. And as one person, it's really hard to find these hidden gems, but if a lot of people look together and maybe comment below in the YouTube comments when they find amazing products and services from small cap companies. Well, then there's potential to do more research into those types of investment opportunities in the true spirit of Peter Lynch and one up on Wall Street. That's been it talking about one of the most successful investors of all time, Peter Lynch and how his investment philosophy reflects back on the behavior that I try to emulate today. All right, as always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye-bye.